So this video is made for all the people who are currently in the exact position that I was um, roughly two years ago um, in that sort of uh, victim, bad, bad place where all you can think of is where do I find the secret method to make money? Uh, where do I find that, that secret thing, that, you know, strategy, that one, two, three thing where I just do what somebody tells me you know the the secret technique. I just I just want to do it and just just tell me what to do. I promise I'll do anything, and um, I just want to make money. Please please tell me how to do. It. So um, the problem with this mentality is uh, people use that. First of all, people are going to use you. Uh, people are really 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 going to take advantage of you because a person who's not willing to think for himself. Uh, more often than not, somebody is going to think for him and at a very high price. So um, that's the first thing that's really wrong with this mentality. The second thing is it's a complete misunderstanding of how business actually works. Um, you have to remember that business is always, always a transaction between two people uh, or more, uh, where somebody provides certain services and somebody else provides uh, money in exchange. So as small time entrepreneur as you might be, um, you still want to make money for something, which means that somebody actually has to take money out of his wallet or take out his credit card and actually make the decision to pay you. So um, right off the bat, just the whole idea of this secret method, this thing you can do where you can just say a pathetic weasel not pay any like um, respect to the person, not actually provide any value, and just get money, you know, me, 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 um, that goes out the window because it doesn't fucking work. Um, now, where I actually want to take you to is instead of Charlie, instead of focusing on um, me, 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 like how do I make money, what do I do, what do I do, um, you actually want to start asking yourself, how do I provide value to people? Meaning, how do I actually um, make people's lives better. I don't care if it's uh, making them smile or if it's uh, through music or if it's through maybe you want to you know cook food for people uh, or maybe you just like to manage people and have a really successful business. But there's something out there that you really like doing that is specifically unique to you and once you kind of stop thinking me, 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 I'm so pathetic, I'm so scared, you know, everything is so scarce, I just need it, I need the money. Once you actually start to go out of that thinking and start going into providing value, that's actually where you're going to find your greatest strength. So on one hand, it's going to make your life a lot, lot better because now you'll be focused on doing something you like and actually enjoying it uh, and providing value to the world. And the second thing is that you're actually going to start making money because uh, money, in essence, it's uh, value. But it's not just value, it's perceived value. So it doesn't matter if you actually uh, give that true value, if it just looks like it's valuable. Uh, that's why manipulators can actually make a lot of money uh, by selling shit uh, because the perceived value is very high, or at least for a lot of people. Um, whereas what I want you to focus on is actually creating as much value as possible. So you really want to ask yourself, um, what am I good at? What do I love doing? Uh, where can I bring my unique skills or unique take on the world um, and actually make people's lives better? Now, I also like to point out this funny question where I ask, um, let's say that you know somebody who spends anywhere between two hours to ten hours a day and all he does in this time is just provide a lot of value to people. Not like an employee where somebody picked the value you provide for you, um, but you sort of, that person sort of chose the way he wants to give value to the world, whether it's through music or cooking or coaching or whatever it is. And he just uh, goes out and actually provides that value, like massive value, like just improving people's lives, making them feel better or making them more money, whatever it is. Could a person like that, who actually provides a ton of value daily, um, and let's say he's also fairly confident and, you know, has a high self-esteem. He doesn't have any victim issues, you know, and he can ask for what he deserves. Would that person actually have any problem uh, living the lifestyle he wants, um, you know, living in the abundance he needs? 
or would that person actually uh, have everything provided for him by all the people who, whose lives he's improving? So um, again, it's always win-win. It's always value for value. So um, if you're still in that mindset of the quick fix and that quick secret technique to make more money, um, you want to get out of that fast because that mindset is basically stifling you and it's also opening you up to other people who are going to take, uh, are going to take advantage of you. Um, and what you want to focus on, again, is giving value. How can I improve the world? Stop thinking me, 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 and what do I need and my little needs. Start thinking how can I help other people. And that's where you can actually start saying how much do I want. Like what do I want from life uh, in terms of my lifestyle, in terms of my earnings. Um, because then you know that whatever you want, all you have to do is provide equivalent value for it. And there's absolutely no reason in the world that you're not going to get it. So again, go back to your gifts. Go back to the things that make you feel good that make you happy, start asking how you can actually give as much of them as possible, put the money second, and realize that if you have good self-esteem, if you're not afraid to ask for money when is the right time, then definitely you're going to live in uh, the financial abundance that you need to enjoy your life and to have a really, really good time. Um, so again, uh, instead of scarcity, go into abundance. Instead of uh, I need, start asking what can I give. And uh, if you have any questions regarding this topic, I'd be more than happy to help. Uh, please keep them, of course, precise and uh, direct. Um, and also, if you like the video, if you like my content, feel free to subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. Um, and have a great day. And again, um, I don't care if you stay positive or not, but I care that you keep giving and actually make the world a better place to be in. So until next time, uh, this is me signing out.